Bowling was super popular back then. Everybody wanted to bowl. The really busy bowling centers, you could hardly get in to even practice because it was crazy. Back in the old days, the pins were hard to knock over. There was very little oil on the lanes. Rubber bowling balls, nothing hit the pins like it does today. Yeah, it's not easy. I mean, travel, uh, hotel expenses is insane. You know, if you don't finish in the top five, ten places, are you going to make money that week? You got to sell yourself. You got to get your own sponsors to put on your jerseys. You want to be the youngest ever to win. You want to go get Wendy McPherson's record. We're going to do that now. We're not going to get another chance till next January. First of all, it's a lot of hours. I mean, it's not an eight-hour day. It's just you got to love what you're doing. Running a bowling center, I'm here seven days a week, 365 days a year. Even when we're closed, I'm in here. When it comes to youth bowling, what people aren't realizing is how much opportunity there are in most states. There was a study a few years ago, bowling had like 40% of its scholarships were unused, just from a lack of bowlers. There are great pro shop technicians, but the majority of us, the reality of it is, is that we're untrained. 